we have never had this in American history. We have never had this, to the to best of my knowledge, in world history, the number of teenage girls saying that they are boys to the extent that they would have their breasts surgically removed. It was an exceedingly rare phenomenon, and when it happened, it almost always passed. This is completely, in, in 90, I think, I would say 99% of the cases, this has been induced by society. I don't say it's not a genuine feeling. I'm only saying it's been induced by society. There are, there are other underlying problems in these girls' cases, and they feel that the solution is to become a boy. A boy with a uterus, a boy with a cervix, a boy with presumably a vagina, unless that is undone as well in a way that I, I can't fully imagine, but maybe so. It's a very, uh, it's a very sad phenomenon. My heart breaks for the parents. My heart breaks for the girl. By the way, I just want to make clear, if I meet somebody, I don't ask them, what sex were you born? Okay? I never ask that. If you look like a man, dress like a man, and have a male name, I think of you as a man. Okay? I just want to make that clear. If you dress like a woman, look like a woman, talk like a woman, and have a woman's name, then I dress you as a woman. That is not my issue. My, my issue is they, this, this so-called non-binary they, I, 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 that I object to. The denial, of, see, transgenders don't deny that there are two sexes. An interesting, it's a very interesting point that is worthy of emphasizing. They admit they're, e they're either a boy or a girl either a man or a woman. My, my battle is with the people who claim there isn't a binary choice in the human species. There's a binary choice in every species on earth except, except the human. I mean, maybe there's some, uh, you know, very, very primitive fish somewhere in, in the bottom of the ocean that also has a ambiguous sexual identity but with anything higher than that it's, it's, it's always male or female so I want to make that clear because the left obfuscates all these issues and blends them into one so you become a transphobe who's a, tra who's a transphobe what kind of nonsense is that do you know anybody who if they meet somebody uh, if someone has a beard and is named Mark and is wearing male clothing, are you going to say, hey, Mark, I'm just curious, were you born female? Would you do that? If nobody does that, right? You don't even think twice. My issue is with, quote, unquote, cisgender males who dress as females. The, it's the, the people that I object to, the ideology I object to, is the blurring of the male-female distinction. Transgender don't blur the female-male distinction. They do if they want to compete with females, biological males. You know that the, uh, did you see that? The New Zealand weightlifter was named a, a sports woman of the year by some sports organization. A biological male weightlifter who, of course, made the New Zealand team, because New Zealand is truly one of the stupidest countries in the world. Truly, truly, th they have gone out of their minds. And uh, both on COVID and on, on, on this issue. You know, I'll tell you why, by the way. They have it so good in New Zealand. There's no threat. Nobody's threatening New Zealand. Okay? It's not on the... It's not on the radar of any country, you know, we got to take over New Zealand. So they don't have an external threat. They're affluent and they're secular. 
And that's a very lethal combination. Affluent and secular equals bored. Boredom equals made-up causes. So New Zealand sends... So the, the biological women couldn't make... Some biological woman was kicked off the New Zealand Olympic weightlifting team, female weightlifting team, because a biological man kicked her off. And that person was named Sportswoman of the Year by some sports organization. That's correct. I think everybody listening knows what's wrong with that. It's not fair to biological women. That's what's wrong with it. The media, because they're lying media, they're frauds, uh, they're, they're, they're America's Pravda. They don't report to you the number of people who regret later in life that they uh, engaged in hormone treatments and surgery and then want to, want to revert to their biological sex. They don't report that. There's a whole, there's a whole large group of such people. But you, you have to search it out on the Internet. I had, uh, what, I think, one of the heads of that group on the show. The, he, as it happens, he's an opinion writer for the uh, you, for USA Today. You know who I'm talking about? And he has written about this. He himself became transgender and then reverted to his original male biological status. Had he not been already a uh, an opinion writer for the U, for USA Today, it never would have been published. One eight Prager seven seven six. Uh, 